Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about the filters in SynthMaster, and there are a number of configurations. Uh, we can have a uh, split, so each oscillator goes into either filter one or two. I should also mention there are two filters per part, per layer, right? So we have split, so each oscillator goes into its own dedicated filter. Parallel, uh, oscillator one and oscillator two are merged, and then they each go into uh, their filters respectively separately and then they're merged again and then series each oscillator uh, goes into filter one and then filter one is output to filter two and then that is put into the output all right so uh, we will have I guess just um, series so how you enable the filters by clicking on the filter here so it's like illuminated or you can go on or off so there's two modes two major modes uh, digital and analog uh, you'll notice that uh, there's a few changes. Uh, you have this 12 and this 24. What this means is in the digital mode, the cutoff uh, amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go noise. Right, so this is the filter completely open. And this would be the filter closed at 12 dB per octave. 24 dB per octave. It's more of an intense cut, so this means that you know you have more pulls. So it goes uh, like 12, 24, 48, and then like brick wall, and then like surgical cut. It's crazy stuff. Analog, uh, there's no selection for 12 or 24. It's variable, so the slope is variable. You can have basically an op an all pass filter when you have analog selected. That just you know everything goes through, or you can have it very smooth to the very sharp cut and we'll boost that just so you can hear that right so a different flavor of filter so the reason why I use filters is to attenuate the sound It's a classic subtractive way of doing synthesis uh, so we we've, we've been focusing on our oscillators and how we do all sorts of fun things with oscillator with uh, pitch and phase and different wave shapes and uh, modulation, uh, AM, FM, PM, uh, GM, you know, <laughs> all this fun stuff. And now we're going to attenuate our sound in the filter. And the filter is a great way to kind of just make things sound cool. I'm going to give you a few examples of that. So I'm going to go, I guess, sawtooth. Right. So typically for uh, digital, for let's say like hard digital sounds so we have a hard kind of digital sound there a digital filter would work best with that analog would be for analog sounds it's not a lot less linear and it's a lot more intense a lot less brittle and it's and it smudges all right and the resonance will feed back as well so we've been focusing on the two modes, analog and digital. Uh, each uh, each mode has different uh, kind of characteristics. Low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop or band reject. Low shelf, high shelf, uh, peaking, multi-mode filter, which is really cool. Dual filters and a comb filter. Uh, comb filters are exclusive to digital filters for some reason. So I'm going to start out with uh, analog because I like analog and it has a variable slope, which is cool. Uh, so we have high pass, which is attenuates everything uh, below the certain uh, cutoff point, right? So, so it's, it's an opposite. Uh, I'm going to do uh, digital just for now. It's the opposite of uh, low pass. So, right. band pass is a low pass and a high pass. And the resonance does a different kind of thing. It's another way to attenuate the sound. Band stop. It's uh, kind of like a, like a surgical EQ, how you see me do my kicks. And with that, uh, the older kind of digital synths, they didn't have phasers. And when, and when you come across a synth that doesn't have a whole lot of effects, you can make a phaser-ish sound without any of the issues that comes about uh, with the band stop or band reject. Very 
nice, uh, a different kind of phasing effect. Low shelf is more like an EQ uh, boost and cut, and you can just kind of think of it as like a smoother kind of a low pass and high pass. Peaking is a band stop, but it's highly resonant. Surgical. You'll notice that the little valley up here is uh, like it, it's more uh, resonant at this valley uh, th at the valley than uh, uh, band stop. Uh, but yeah, you can also boost it to create uh, an interesting kind of phasing effect as well. And the multi-mode filter. So let's get this going. I'll turn the volume up. Double click. So a multi-mode filter is pretty cool because it's this it's a low pass, band pass, and high pass filter all put into one. And the mode changes that. Right, so you can modulate that, you know, right-click modulate, and you can have it alternating between low pass and high pass, and you get really cool sounds that way. Uh dual, so you can have dual filters with different modes, right? So it's basically two multi-mode filters and you can mix in between them and uh, make some vowel -y sounds. Right, you get some really cool things that way. In the comb filter, which is exclusive to the digital filter, it's just a bunch of peaks. careful with this one you get some really interesting sounds uh, digital and analog they both kind of have their own flavor analog is more analog and digital is more digital uh, a few more things that we need to take into account I'll do a noise wave right key tracking uh, yeah so we, we know slope we know cutoff attenuates it resonance boost the resonance frequency at the cutoff point. Volume is a volume kind of drive for the filter. So in case you're, you know, you, you boost the resonance, the overall volume kind of goes down. So you can boost that and uh, to your heart's content and it's all well and good. Key tracking. Key tracking, what that means is as you go up in your keyboard, as you go up, uh, the filter will slowly open. So with key tracking off, no matter what we press, it's the filter is always at the same state. Key tracking on, the filter will open. And if we boost the resonance, we can actually play white noise, right? This as uh, as like you can have notes in it or whatever, right? Especially with a band pass. Right, very analog stuff. Very super cool. Um, again, you can have more than one filter, so you can have something really highly resonant, or even a multi-mode filter, or we'll go we'll go a dual filter, right? Something like that. Uh, we'll go right, something very deep. We're going deep today, right? We're gonna have filter two. Select filter two. Right, so we can have one, one filter. Oops, we can have one filter. Let's say digital, so very brittle. But say if we want to have like that uh, analog smudge in there, we can use that. Right. So I'll go back to oh, digital. I confuse myself here. Or we can have two multi-mode filters, one digital and one analog. So basically every layer has four filters, plus a tone knob. So that's a lot of filters, actually. Um, and yeah, that is introduction to filters of Synthmaster. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll be back.